The Fair Trade Foundation report reveals that since 2001, when world leaders first sat round the table to hammer out a fairer deal on trade, since then, the EU and the US have subsidised their cotton farmers to the tune of $31 billion. And that is directly linked to increased poverty among cotton farmers in four West African nations. That must be one of the greatest trade injustices of our time. Producers who are already benefiting from improved support base. I mean, they have the best seats, they have machinery, they have land, they have irrigation, they have all that they can. In addition to that, their prices are subsidized by the governments. And, and these are the people, uh, the whole building, back bending, West African producers are supposed to be competing with. The U.S. subsidies for their cotton producers give me serious concern. Before the U.S. government granted this to their producers, I could get enough money from their cotton selling. Since the subsidies started, I have not been able to get enough money. My income has really decreased. Given the situation as at now, approaches such as fair trade remains the only window left for the farmers until the, the, the big issues are resolved. Premium money has enabled poor communities to build schools, to build maternity homes for women, to build water, deep water wells, concrete wells that, that give them cleaner and healthier water to drink. According to the World Bank, if cotton subsidies were eliminated, it would mean an extra $250 million flowing into those four West African nations. And that would make all the difference to those farmers. And it would enable them to begin to earn a fairer return for all their hard work growing cotton.